New this morning, a group just outside of San Antonio is trying to bring buffalo back to Texas. Well, the near extinction of the North American bison by the 1900s hurt the livelihoods of indigenous people and the environment. He's at Saracosta, Texas to Welder, Texas to introduce you to the group trying to heal that pain by bringing the buffalo back. And once again, the buffalo are thriving here in Texas. We're in the southern coastal plains. It will definitely make you do a double take seeing buffalo graze the land. Driving through Welder, Texas off of I-10, a little over an hour east of San Antonio. There are over 20 buffalo on 77 acres of the Texas Tribal Buffalo Project. The nonprofit is run by all indigenous women, from the funding to logistics to taking care of the buffalo themselves. The founder and director of the Texas Buffalo Project, Lucio Contreras, says the return of these animals is tied to a healing necessary for her people's existence. At one point, the buffalo were everything to Texas indigenous people. They were our source of spirituality, our source of nutrition and food. For the Lipan Apache, Payaya, Corwankwa, and many more, until the buffalo were killed off by the millions in the 1800s. They were killed for sport, they were killed for their hides, and they were killed as a way to exterminate the Native Americans. In the early 1900s, the buffalo were almost extinct with less than a thousand living. And Lucille says it wasn't just the animals who were fighting to survive. We've had a hide in plain sight because of forced assimilation as a way to survive, just as the buffalo had to survive. The mass destruction of the buffalo also led to another loss. It was a devastation also to the environment and to the land and to the climate. It's why nonprofits in the U.S. are working to restore the buffalo population, like the global nonprofit, The Nature Conservancy. The Nature Conservancy manages 6,000 bison across 1,300 acres at 12 preserves. Suzanne Scott, the director of the Nature Conservancy in Texas, said they realized it made sense for them to partner with groups like the Texas Buffalo Project. 2021, we five buffalo were transferred from the Madano Zapata Ranch in Colorado. Partnerships that heal Texas indigenous people and Texas native grasslands. Grasslands have just been taken over by growing cities, um, agricultural lands. We need our grasslands and our buffalo because together they help combat climate change by promoting biodiversity and keeping the carbon in the ground. Carbon sequestration happens when carbon is kept in the ground rather than be released into the atmosphere. One way carbon is kept into the ground is by creating healthy soil and healthy grasses and healthy forbs that retain. Buffalo help do this in a number of ways. One, by keeping invasive species or brush, like mesquite trees, from taking over. And promoting the life of the prairies by spreading seed when it gets stuck to their fur. The way that they walk on the ground, they aerate the soil, and they reawaken the seed bank. How the buffalo graze also helps the grasslands. Beef, cattle, they are not native to here. And so they eat the grass so much that they pull it all the way up and it doesn't replenish itself versus buffalo that move, they graze rotationally naturally and they only eat the tops of the grass. So the grass continues to grow. But what about methane? Cattle are known for releasing tons of methane through manure, contributing to global warming. Lucille explains that buffalo manure better decomposes than cattle manure. Buffalo dung also attracts more native insects that turn it into a natural fertilizer for native grasslands, therefore releasing less methane. Dung becomes an entire world microcosm in itself. Lucille says this is just the beginning. Long term, they hope for thousands of acres where thousands of buffalo can roam free. But more importantly, for other ranchers to be able to replicate their methods for a more sustainable future in agriculture. If we know who we are and where we come from, we're able to go forward with purpose, with health, and with unity, just as the buffalo. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.